Hello and welcome to the video for sixth grade for Friday, April the 24th. This is going to cover our homework from Thursday. Um, so apologies for this video coming out a little bit later. I originally recorded this yesterday and we had some technical difficulties where you couldn't actually see my screen. So um, <clears throat> I'm having to re-record um, that batch of videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. So uh, to start with, what I did was go ahead and take our uh, five uh, times four and a half times one, and that gives us our uh, total amount of 180 divided by eight um, and I believe this is actually using the strategy um, because I'm getting some of my lessons mixed up uh, with um, what we're doing uh, for the new lesson today. So actually, I think what I did here was I did 10 one half size blocks times nine to get 90 uh, times two to get our other one unit. That gives me 180. We divide by eight. That gives us 22.5 units cubed for our area. That's what I ended up doing. Um, so number four, um, we did. I did five times five um, times nine, and that gives us 225. 225 uh, divided by eight uh, would give us an amount that would give us uh, 22. Or excuse me, 28 and an eighth units cubed for the area. And so I have, I have some extra things. Uh, so I think what happened was some of the stuff got moved. So I had the 22 was here. It was, should have been, um, or one of those twos should have been here. So it was 28 with a remainder of one. And so that would come out to be 28.8. Uh, uh, number six. So a shipping crate is shaped like a rectangular prism. Um, so what I did was I doubled everything. Um, and then divided by 8 after I multiplied. So 11 times 6 times 6 is 396. Divided by 8 uh, would give us 49 and a half feet. Yeah, it looks like this was all attached to this at some point. Let's try that. Um, and then my page moved. Yeah, that looks a little bit closer to like maybe, maybe what I had originally planned. So number one on the back, uh, rectangular prism, four units by two and a half by one and a half. Um, again, I did my method um, for doubling. We want to just know the number of cubes. So eight times five times three. Eight times five would give me 40. 40 times three would give me 120. And we just want the number of cubes that would fill in the shape, and that would be 120. Uh, number two, we want to actually find the uh, volume this time. So we have 196 uh, cubes with one half size unit. So we can do 196 divided by eight, and that would give us 24 and a half for um, the volume. So that's the uh, homework for from yesterday. Um, I have two more videos that will be coming uh, very shortly. Um, the new lesson uh, that I have to re-record and the homework for that lesson where we're going to take the same kind of strategy that we used but we're going to get away from doing the half size units and then dividing by eight. Um, so we're going to do a more traditional kind of method where we're just using straight multiplication. You will probably want a calculator for that. You will see why when we uh, look at the lesson. So before you uh, take a look at that next lesson, uh, make sure you have a calculator handy because we're working on the process uh, more than testing your knowledge or ability uh, multiplying large numbers. So hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next video or I will see you on Monday.